All right, this is Grade 4, Module 4, Lesson 11. And again, we're going to be finding the unknown angle, <clears throat> the measure of the unknown angle, but we're not going to be using a protractor to get that answer. Instead, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be writing some sort of an equation and calculating the answer. And the reason we want to do this is because when we're using a protractor, those degrees are so tiny that really, no matter how careful we are when we're measuring, our answer really is just an estimation. And so instead, this lesson is going to be showing us how to write an equation so that we can calculate the precise answer uh, without measuring. All right, so in this problem, We've got these three rays. I'm going to call them rays because I'm going to pretend they're shooting off. They could be just line segments. but So we've got these three segments, and they're forming a central point right here. So it's creating a circle. And now the idea of that means uh, a complete rotation is 100, uh, sorry, 360 degrees. So that's the big thing we all have to remember is that a complete rotation a complete rotation is 360 degrees. And that's the big key, which means when we take these three angles, because I've got an angle of 100 degrees, an angle of 115, and then we've got this mystery. We know that if we add these three together, we're going to get a complete rotation, which is 360 degrees. So we can write C degrees plus 115 plus 100 is equal to 360. And for some reason, they put in the little degree symbol for us. So C degrees plus 115 degrees plus 100 degrees is equal to 360 degrees, meaning a complete rotation. So now, what kind of math are we going to do to figure out the value of C? Well, there's a ton of different kinds of math that we could do. But we know that we need these three angles to have a sum of 360. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add these two guys together. So I'm going to add these two guys together, and I'm going to do that over here. 115 plus 100. Well, that was actually pretty easy. 215. <laughs> I don't know why I needed scratch paper. So. That's 215 degrees, and that is equal to 360. So now we have a mystery, mystery angle, that's this guy, plus 215 degrees, that's these two guys combined, has to equal 360. So using the wonders of subtraction, we can get our answer. So we're going to do a little regrouping. So that tells us that our mystery angle, angle C, is 145 degrees. So this guy right here is 145 degrees. And we can check it by adding all three of these angles together and making sure that it equals 360 degrees, a complete rotation. So we have another problem, kind of the same. Write an equation and solve for the unknown angles numerically. Now, this is actually a two-step problem because you'll notice we have two angles that are missing. So what I'm going to do, let's see if I can do this. I'm going to create a straight line here as close as I can, and I'm going to fill it in. All right, so what I have is a straight line. Now, I'm going to do that on purpose because what I'm showing here is this is showing that these two angles form a straight angle. So, And that's basically what this thing is, a straight angle finder. <laughs> and so there I can see that 35 degrees plus E degrees is going to equal 180 degrees. So I'm going to write that down. So we're going to do 35 degrees plus E degrees is equal to 
180 degrees. Using subtraction, over here on the side, I'll do 180 minus 35. Do a little regrouping. I get 145. So E degrees is equal to 145 degrees. So I'll put that up here, 145 degrees. Now we're going to do the same thing, only now we're going to do it with F. And so now F means we need to, uh, let's see, I'm going to take this and move it around. And I can see, oh, right here, boom. I see another 180 degrees. I see this angle plus this angle equals 180 degrees. It equals a straight line. All right. And so that tells me, and I'm going to write it over here. I'm going to do a little scribbly, scribbly, scribbly. 145 degrees plus F degrees is equal to 180. And I can see up here, using my fact families, I can see the answer already. It's going to be 35. Uh, but just in case I didn't know. So I'm going to do it in blue. 180 minus 145. Do a little regrouping. Hey, look at that. I get F degrees is equal to 35 degrees. And I'll write that down up here. Now, teachers, uh, you guys are probably savvy enough to know that, oh, this is these are vertical angles and, and you'll see some shortcuts and whatnot. But at this point, we want students to really be focusing on the relationship between angles and when they form a straight angle, when they form a right angle and uh, adjacent angles. And, and so that's the stage of development we're at right now. Yes, eventually they'll learn about vertical angles are equal or congruent. But uh, right now, we're just, we, we're, we want students to be focusing on the angle relationships of straight angles and 90 degree angles. So on this angle, uh, this problem, boy, it really looks complicated. There's, we've got lines flying all over the place. We've got missing angles <laughs> all over the place. We've got these symbols. We've got arcs. We've got a little square thing. Man, uh, this is really one of those problems where um, math really is obviously a language with its own unique symbols and you know vocabulary. This is awesome, teacher. So yeah, I really want you to dwell on this problem for a while and let students just observe it and see it. The other thing is students uh, up till this point have really been trained to to think that math is about getting the answer in one step. Just they're going to look at all of this, do a, a calculation, and boom, instantly everything will show up and they'll get the answer. And what they need to l develop is this understanding of these kinds of problem problems will be solved one piece at a time. And there's going to be lots of simple little steps that are eventually going to fill in these answers. It's not going to be a one and done where the students are going to do the work once and get the answer. So I'm going to use my straight edge. My I call this my straight angle finder. And I can look and I can see, oh, there's a straight angle right there. So K and M form a straight angle, uh, but that doesn't really help us because we don't know what these angles are yet. So we don't know if K is um, 80 and M is 100, or we don't know if K is 70 and M is 110. We just don't know. So we have to find one or the other. So I'm going to move my straight angle finder around and boom, there's one. I see one right there. All right, do you see it? Do you see it? So what that means is I can see that M plus 46 degrees is going to equal 180 degrees. So I'm going to do that down here. M degrees plus 46 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. And uh, I'm, I'm not going to show the scratch work. But I'm going to subtract these two numbers, 
And when I subtract those two numbers, I get m is equal to 134 degrees. And, you know, you're not really technically allowed to do this, but yes, we can look at this and say, well, that's an obtuse angle. We got an obtuse answer, so well, at least we're reasonable. And so we're going to say that m is 134 degrees. All right, so we're, we're slowly filling in our answers over here, but we're not going to be able to do it all in one step. It's going to be a bunch of little steps. So I'm going to take my straight edge finder, and now I'm going to rotate it around. And oh, you know what I'm going to do? I can fill this in right here. This is 134 degrees. All right, and so now I can take my straight edge finder, and I can, whoa, I can move it around, and I can see that, oh, look at that. These two angles form a straight angle. So what I mean by that is I'm saying 134 plus k equals a straight edge. So we can see that that's 180 degrees. So I'm going to move my straight edge finder out of the way. And I can see that, and I'll do it in blue, and that 134 degrees plus k degrees is equal to 180. So using subtraction, and I'm going to subtract these two guys, and that's going to give us k. So I'm going to subtract, and when I subtract those two, I get 46 degrees. So k is 46 degrees. And that means I can write it down here, 46 degrees. So now we can do some more uh, looking around with my straight edge finder. So if I'm going, so I got, I've got both M and K right here, so we know both of these. And then... If I move around, I got this one, but we know both of these, so I'm still kind of looking around, and oh, J, there's my one missing angle. Oops, I don't need this. Uh, J is my missing angle. So what I can see, a couple of ways to solve this, I can see that we know the entire rotation except for J. We know that this one is 90. 46, 134, 46, and missing. And we know that if we add all of these together, we would have a complete rotation. That's 360 degrees. That's one way to do it. In fact, let's do it that way. It's not the easiest, it's not the shortest, but let's do it because it's fun. So I'm going to write j degrees plus 90 degrees. That's this guy right here. So I'm going to go counterclockwise. So j degrees, 90 degrees, now we've got 46 degrees, plus 134 degrees, plus 46 degrees, and of course I ran out of room, so I'm going to see if I can move that. No, it's not going to let me move it. Um, let's see. This? Nope, still can't move it. Let's see. I'm going to move all of this over. Unlock. There we go. And all of this, if I move this over, gives me 100. Uh, no, not 100. It gives me 360 degrees. So that's 360 degrees. So now, adding all of those angles together that we do know, and I'm going to take a pause and I'm going to add that together. And that gives me 316 degrees. So that means it's going to be J degrees plus 316 degrees is equal to 360 degrees. 
And so now we know that both of these added together should equal 360, which means using subtraction, we can see that j degrees is equal to, let's see, 44 degrees. And so j degrees is 44 degrees. And I can put that in right here. And then we know that this is 90 degrees. And one of the ways we can check our answer is we can add them all up. And we should get 360 degrees because that makes us gives us a whole rotation. Another way we can do it is I can use my little straight edge finder. And my straight edge finder also helps us find 90 degrees. So this shows us that these two guys should add up to 90 degrees because that gives us a right angle right here. And sure enough, 46 plus 44 is 90 degrees. Uh, there's just so many different ways that, yikes, that we can show this. And uh, that wraps up, I think, this problem. That's all we need to do on this problem. And... Uh, and that wraps up the video. That's Grade 4, Module 4, Lesson 11, Finding the Unknown Angle, but not by using a protractor. Instead, we are using mathematics.